Yeah, Taoiseach, apologies. I was just uh, a bit delayed getting in. I was all your answers. Do you want to? I know, I know. I, I, I know what I want to say. Taoiseach, look, it sticks in the craw of people in a big, big way. Uh, the uh, really staggeringly high and generous pension uh, entitlements of former Taoiseach and ministers, particularly, it's worth saying, those who were elected to Dáil Éireann under the pre-2012 uh, regime, because there was changes made uh, in 2011-12 uh, under the impact of austerity, but it really sticks in people's craws. So it's quite extraordinary that uh, you would add to that uh, uh, by uh, get granting very significant amounts of money to former Taoiseach in addition to those pensions for secretarial support when that had been abolished uh, at that period, I think, uh, and then reinstate them. I mean, what possible justification for it? Do you not think they're already in receipt of extremely generous uh, pension packages, and then hundreds of thousands, I think, in the case of former Tisha Gahern, given to him in secretarial support. I just don't see how you could possibly justify it. And it really sticks in the craw of people out there who are struggling uh, to pay bills, to pay mortgages, to pay rent, uh, that these uh, excessively generous pensions are, are topped up uh, with even it would, with very significant hundreds of thousands of euros in secretarial assistance and in VIP treatment for former Taoiseach at, at airports. It's just not really acceptable, Taoiseach. Come on, uh, next. Thank deputies for their for their questions and contributions. Um, former Taoiseach and indeed former presidents do have an ongoing role, uh, and as I think was mentioned. Uh, that ongoing role can be beneficial to the country. Uh, Mary Robinson was mentioned, for example, in her role uh, around climate action and climate change isn't just good for the world, it also reflects well on our country. Uh, and I think we should um, uh, be cognizant of that. Um, and I think it makes sense that if we have former office holders, former teaching, former presidents, uh, that we should ask them to assist the country. Uh, there are people who are generally held in good standing internationally, who have good contacts, who know things um, and have great experience. And I think we should see them uh, as an asset um, to the country, not to the government, but to the country, uh, if they're willing to continue to do things for the country. Uh, I should point out that they're all, all also members of the Council of State for Life, so they do have a formal role uh, under the Constitution. Um, being a retired Taoiseach is not a formal role, but being a member of the Council of State is. Um, and they continue to receive a huge amount of correspondence, a huge amount of media queries relating to their work, queries from historians, uh, and even queries from inquiries. Uh, so, um, even unwanted, uh, they receive a huge amount of correspondence and, and queries and so on. Uh, and they have been asked to assist uh, in our UN work, particularly in relation to the campaign for a seat on the Security Council uh, on European issues such as Brexit, explaining our case and our issues uh, in fours around the world, and also on occasion uh, in Northern Ireland. Um, and just to mention one or two others, uh, former Taoiseach Bertie Ahern uh, has a role in monitoring the referendum uh, in Papua New Guinea. Um, a really important role, and we should be supportive of him uh, in that. Uh, in my very brief phone call that I had with the new Prime Minister of Australia, one of the first things he mentioned to me was that uh, your former uh, Taoiseach was uh, involved in, in this uh, referendum in Bougainville in, in, in PNG. Uh, you know, and it wasn't something I brought up, it was something that the Australian Prime Minister was aware of and volunteered. So that just gives an example of the benefit of that sort of soft power of having your people um, and your citizens around the world uh, doing this kind of work. Um, former Taunish Damon Gilmore has a role with the EU uh, around human rights, um, which has been very effective. And while it's an EU role, the fact it's being done by an Irish person does reflect well on us. Uh, and everyone will be familiar with former Taoiseach John Bruton's uh, ongoing engagement in European affairs and uh, US relations, given his role as EU ambassador to the US in the past. Um, I know there was mention of large amounts of money and hundreds of thousands of euros. Uh, just to say uh, once again that uh, secretary assistance is vouched uh, and the total cost of this scheme uh, so far this year has been €21,190 uh, for all office holders combined. Uh, the previous scheme, which was abolished in 2012, cost about 168 to 183000 a year, so it really is very modest compared to what was there before. Um, all four former Taoiseach were contacted to make them aware of the assistance available. 
uh, the rules um, and specifically that any work had to be associated with their former role. Um, the decision to avail of supports is entirely at the discretion of each individual and they're under no obligation to make use of it. In fact, so far, um, only one former Taoiseach has elected to recruit a secretariat assistant um, and uh, the same individual has made one request for uh, detailed briefing material in relation to Brexit. Um, I, I take Deputy Allen's point on transparency and I, I'm absolutely willing to be as transparent as we possibly can be, um, but the GDPR did actually change things. Um, our privacy laws in Ireland are different to what they were uh, a few years ago. And while it was possible in the past to disclose, for example, how much every individual office holder got in terms of their pension and so on, uh, under GDPR, there are new privacy rights and they apply to every citizen. Uh, and it's no longer possible now uh, for a government to disclose what any individual uh, public servant gets paid in terms of their pension or in terms of their salary. Now we could remove that for everyone um, or no one, but that previous system where is transparent for some and not others no longer applies and GDPR has changed that. Thank you.